Hey guys, I bet you're excited because you're watching a fraction video. Okay, we are subtracting a fraction from a mixed number, okay? But in order to work with these, I don't really want to keep this as a mixed number. I want to turn it into an improper fraction, okay? An improper fraction is when the top is more than the bottom. Apparently, that's very improper, okay? So how to turn this into an improper fraction? I'll link a video in the corner if you need some more examples, but it's not too tricky. We take our denominator and we multiply it by the big number here. So three times four gives me 12. And then we add the numerator, okay? So 12 plus two gives me 14. And we are still over three, okay? So four and two thirds is the same as 14 over three, okay? And then we are subtracting seven twelfths, okay? Bad news is when we subtract fractions, our denominators have to be the same, okay? But it's not too hard to get them the same. So we think, what is the smallest number that 3 and 12 both go into? Well, the smallest number they both go into is 12, right? So good news, we don't have to change this one. It is already over 12. But we do need to change this one. So 3 times what gives me 12, okay? 3 times 4 gives me 12, right? But I can't just go multiplying by 4 anywhere I like, right? <laughs> I need to multiply by 4 over 4. Why? Because 4 over 4 is 1. So I'm really just multiplying by 1. It's just a really weird looking 1, okay? So I'm changing what the fraction looks like, but not its value, okay? Now I'm going to multiply these. So 4 times 14 gives me 56. Hold on, I'm going to go back to blue. Sorry. 4 times 14 gives me 56. 4 times 3 gives me that 12, which is what I was looking for. Okay. And then we're still subtracting that 7 twelfths. Okay. Good news. We are in a good place. Our denominators are the same. Okay. So when I subtract these, my denominator stays 12. That's why we needed them to be the same, okay? Then we subtract the numerators, the tops. 56 minus 7 gives me 49, okay? Now, that is one version of my answer, but most likely your teacher will probably want it as back as a mixed number, okay? So how do I turn that back into a mixed number? Well... I think, how many times does 12 go into 49? Um, well, it goes in four times, right? 12 times four is 48. So I know it goes in four times, but it's 48, not 49, which means there's one left over and we are still in twelfths, right? So that is my answer. Four and two thirds minus seven twelfths gives me four and one twelfth. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. Good luck. Bye.